Hey everybody, welcome to MT Guitar. Today we're going to be covering Jack Straw by the Grateful Dead, um, which is just a has a beautiful chord progression and is a lot of fun to learn. Written by Bob Weir and Robert Hunter. Robert Hunter was the lyric writer. I kind of sang an abridged, uh, shortened version, so hope you don't mind. But we'll learn the parts thoroughly right now. Let's get started. Okay, so this song is in the key of E major. Quite, there's quite a few sections, so uh, it's going to take us a little bit of time, but um, really great chord progressions in this song. So you have e, e major, a nice easy tempo, a nice easy strumming pattern, down, 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 down. and then we do a little E sus, which is pinky on the 2nd fret 3rd string, for, for a couple beats there, and then back. I played that uh, intro lick that that Jerry Garcia played, which is really uh, fun to play. And it's uh, in uh, ninth fret, second string, tenth fret, pull off to nine, eleventh fret, third string, and then we do a little walk up here, ninth fret, second string, tenth fret, eleventh fret, hammer on to twelfth fret. Okay, and then we do a little bend on the 11th fret to the 12th fret. Hold it there and then bend it back down, pull off to 9th fret, and then 12th fret 2nd string, uh, 9th fret, 11th fret 3rd string, and then a pull off from 10th to 9th on the 2nd str string. And then start with a bend here on the 11th fret 3rd string and then unbend it and then pull off the ninth fret. So. Let's do the whole thing. Okay, good. That leads us into the verse. We can share, and then an F sharp minor here. The women we can share, the C sharp minor. Why? So let's do that. And the starting pattern is pretty much the same as the intro. And then uh, we have this A chord where we do a hammer on to the second fret. And then I did a little fill here. Uh, second fret, fifth string. Hammer on to fourth fret. Second fret, fourth string. Fourth fret to slide up to sixth fret. If you want to do that though, be careful because it goes right into the next uh, phrase. So let's do that. We can share. We can share. You got to hit the E. <laughs> so it's a little more advanced. If you wanted to keep it simpler, just do a regular. And just straight to E chords, fine. Okay, second phrase here. The E. B minor to A to E and then we have this wonderful little walk up here G sharp minor to a D and then an A chord and I did this little pull off on the seventh fret to sixth fret third string requires the pinky I recommend extracting your pinky if possible so one more time for the second half chord there. 5th fret, 5th fret, 6th fret, 3rd string, 7th fret, and then an open A string. Okay, now the second half of this verse is exactly the same, except at the very end, when we do this G sharp minor, instead of going to D, we just go to A. And then back to E. So, B minor, A, this is the second half. Now the next section, sus to the to the to the next section. So Jerry sings this, and it's, it starts with an E sus, I just jump. and then to a regular E chord uh, four times. Three, four, 
Now we do the same thing up two frets, in other words, an F sharp sus. And it's okay to bar it the whole time. And it's okay to get that second fret, fourth string. So you do pinky on the fourth fret, third string. Back to an F sharp. F sharp sus. Back to F sharp. On the fourth time, we go to a, a D chord. And then play a B bass note, second fret, fifth string. And then an A chord. And then E. Okay, and, and that starts this, this chorus here. So, so you got that part, the F sharp sus, to the D, B, A. Now let's cover this little lick Jerry does. D, B, and then fourth fret, thir uh, fourth fret, fourth string, slide up to sixth. You can play the A if you can, if you can, because uh, it's the A chord. Fourth fret, third string, sixth fret, second fret, second string. Uh, and then slide from 6th to 4th fret, 4th string. And then 4th fret, 5th uh, string. And then E. Okay, let's do that. Nice and slow. Alright, really cool. Now Bob Weir sings over this. Now we play for go or for love. He does that a few times. And then at the very the fourth one, I believe, he does stays on the A, then the E, and then A, and then a D chord to G. D to G, then a walk down, sixth string, third, second, first, E chord. Uh -huh. And that's actually the whole form. Um, one of the things about Grateful Dead is they really pack in a lot of sections and beautiful solos and you know they're they're the first jam band really so um, they don't I don't think I think they don't get the credit they deserve they, they their, their chord progressions and songs are just amazing so there you go um, we covered a lot kind of quickly but uh, I'm trying to keep these videos you know uh, manageable and short enough so if you have any questions you're always uh, welcome to leave a comment all right happy practicing Good job, everybody. You got this song under your belt. Always a good idea to learn a Grateful Dead song, in my opinion. So go ahead and subscribe to MT Guitar if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell and uh, check in for the daily guitar lessons. And have a, have a great day and a great weekend, everybody. See ya.